Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. I would like to point out that we are in Ramadan now. So it's a good time of the year and uh, the community is uh, uh, making uh, good use of these blessed days. And uh, at this particular time, as in every time of the year, uh, the community, alhamdulillah, is uh, a very uh, strong community, a uh, very good community. It's growing and it is, uh, it is uh, prosperous and uh, we're increasing in number, alhamdulillah and uh, increasing in resources and uh, we need to look at the future we need to increase in many other things and we're going to get to that okay, so how do you see different uh, muslim organizations in the in the community and their role uh, starting from masajid to schools and um, other organizations like you know, Zakat Foundations, or, or you know, there are many other. What what role do you see they playing in this? In the well, Alhamdulillah, the Muslim organizations are increasing, and their effort is also is uh, broadening, and that's good. Uh, we are seeing a change in the nature, a change for the better in the nature of the activities of the organizations. Uh, and that's natural. In the beginning, our focus was in building the mosque and doing the prayers and other articles of worship. And much of that is done, accomplished. And then we went into education. And being part of the larger society, we went into service to the Muslim community and to the other others outside the community as well. And uh, we are seeing a new leap in service that's demonstrated by Zakat organization. Because Zakat is uh, really widening the message that we have as Muslims and making it cover everybody. And that's one thing that the Muslim message has to focus on in the future. And that is to love and care all human beings, not just ourselves. And when you look at the services offered by the CAF Foundation and similar organizations, you will find that it, they are providing service to all he needs the service. If somebody wants to learn, improve his English language and uh, a newcomer, uh, whether that individual is Muslim or non-Muslim, they give him the help that they need. And uh, they are opening their doors to, to help uh, with school bags and uh, and uh, services to the needy of different kinds. And that is the kind that we need to be better at in the future. And all the organizations at one time or another will uh, find that this is uh, the new nature of their activities, just to be open to everybody. So what major challenges do you see the communities facing now that we need to focus our attention on? Okay. That's a good question and uh, you can look at it uh, either on the local level or you can expand it a little bit since the world now is a small village. Even though our community is in good condition, 
but we are part of the larger Muslim uh, population everywhere. So our system is part of the larger system. Our way, our uh, religious address in the mosques is part of the larger religious address. It's not totally isolated from it. Our system ed of education is part of the, and similar to the Muslim education elsewhere. So when we look at ourselves, we should be aware that we are looking at a piece of a larger uh, structure of which we are part. So when I do that, I, uh, I see that we need to first look at where we, where we are and ask ourselves, are we happy with what we're, with where we are now or is there something that we should do better? If you look at the Muslims in general, you will notice if you compare it with the history, if you compare it with the times when the Muslim civilization was the leader on the globe, you will find that the Muslims now are not in a good condition, are not in a good time. The Muslims have been stagnant. We are, in general, like running in place, or even worse, in some places, we're going backward. And now the Muslims face a new challenge with what's called the Arab Spring. So the main pillars of the Muslim society need to be looked at. The way we are learning, the way we are teaching, has been the same for hundreds of years. And in my view, this needs improvement. The universality of the Muslim faith needs to be looked at, articulated in good, clear, specific terms, and presented to the Muslims and to the non-Muslims. And if this is done, we will look out at our program, we will look at our books that we read, we will look at our schools, we will look at the way we are doing things, and we have to set new goals. We are going now by feel good on the personal level, and on the political level by slogans. And I am yet to see a Muslim thinker or a Muslim politician or a Muslim uh, leader who can articulate Islam in its universal outlook and who can articulate its value system in terms that can be taken from the books and put into practice. In our case, on the social level. In the case of the Muslim nations, on the political level. We are still far behind in the, in, on the intellectual level in addressing those needs. And those needs do exist if the Muslims are to progress. So how is it all <clears throat> applicable to Muslim Delaware? It's the two things, what the masjid delivers and what the school delivers. The masjid teaches the things that are need to worship. And that's fine, but that's not enough. We need to know how to build the, the new Muslim psyche, if you will. New Muslim psyche should learn 
from both the Muslim civilizations of the past and from the current civilizations that are mostly in the West that put us behind but their accomplishments and our uh, relaxation and lack of taking initiative. The Muslims in Delaware, they should learn and they should be nurtured to take the initiative, to be creative. The masjid should teach the individuals in addition to how to pray and how to fast. It should teach the people how to serve. The masjid needs to make one of its products in addition to worship. The second product should be service. The Muslims should be learned to go out and serve. The masjid should teach that. The masjid should reshape the value system, should restate the value system in terms that will develop the Muslim personality and uh, make its uh, initiative and its creativity uh, grow. So much for reading and doing. We need to read and we need to articulate our message to be used in reshaping our uh, nature, to use our talent and potential to the most. We need to push the envelope, as they say. We are not pushing the envelope. We are happy with what we, ha what we have and what we do. But we should never be happy with where we are at, even though we may be in good condition. But there is always better. There is Ihsan in Islam. And we are not there yet. Ihsan means push the envelope. Keep doing better. That's for the masjid. For the school. There's a lot of good books that the children read and learn from. And there is so much that they read. And they learn. But they should not only read books and learn from them they should be taught to solve problems. I'm not an education specialist, but I know that if you learn to solve problems, you are more likely to succeed than if you learn what people wrote in the last 10 years, in the last 100 years, in the last 1,000 years. If you compare what we write today with what we inherited 1,000 years ago, you will not find much difference. We are not making good use of the advancements in science, in social sciences, in human sciences. We are not uh, producing uh, leaders. We are producing a lot of professionals. We are producing a lot of scholars. There are a few thinkers in the Muslim world. But we still don't have the leaders. Our system of education in Delaware, as elsewhere, should be designed to bring the potential in everybody. And when you do that, the one who has the potential to become a leader will have the chance to become a leader and will emerge on his or her own because you provided the environment. And eventually, all Muslims, the Muslim nation, to solve the, the status quo that you, we have been in for a long time, I think it is about time for what we know as the, the reformer that comes every hundred years or so. I think the Muslim nations and the Muslims in general, and we included, are due for a great resurgence into a new phase of 
the Muslim Ummah. I know we are Muslims in, in the West, Muslims in America, Muslims in Europe. We have great similarities and many similarities. But we have great opportunities and we need to use it. It is true that Muslims in the Muslim world don't like get ad to get advice from Muslims living in the West. But as I said again, this should no longer be an issue because the world is a small village and you can do everything that you want to do everywhere while you are sitting in your community. So we in this place should take the lead to do the, the improvement, the enhancement of the systems that we are used to, make our message in the masjid clearer, make our education in the school 